Hello, what's going on with all you beautiful and amazing people? So, I don't even want to do my typical intro. You just know my links are down below, you know what I'm saying? If you need help with anything, bro, I got mad stuff down below. And drop a like on this video. Because a lot of people have their spirits broken because of lames. And when I say that people are lame, I'm going to put, I'm going to literally pull up the definition of lame and then show you guys why you should not let these people affect your spirit. So I'm going to talk about how people's spirit even gets broken along with how to fix your broken spirit if you have a broken spirit. But first, let's look at what lame even means. So. Lame right here means uninspiring and dull. Now, a lot of people are very uninspiring and dull and they have no inspiration at all inside their life. Therefore, if you're an inspired person, they may end up putting you down in certain kinds of ways. But before I get to that, let's look at this. And some people don't even put you down all the time. Sometimes you're just being your head worried about these kinds of people maybe because in the past you got put down and now it's like you have these these just thoughts inside your head which are breaking your spirit which i'm gonna talk about right but to be inspired right it says of extraordinary of extraordinary quality as if arising from some external creative impulse now inspire right also means to uh fill someone with the urge or ability to do or feel something especially to do something creative right now, the etymology means to breathe, like to breathe into, right? Because when you're inspired, it's like you're being breathed into, then you want to just do something, right? Now, the thing that's supposed to breathe into you is your spirit. You see, now that we have those definitions out the way, right? Let me get, let me get up close and personal, right? If you're in tune with your spirit, right, you're going to naturally be an inspired person who is sharing information that may inspire other people to get in tune with their spirit it's like the it's like your energy the things that you say the way you behave can literally breathe into people and then help them to be inspired to connect back with their own spirit a lot of people though are not connected with their spirit and their mind is very dull so or it's agitated sometimes people's minds are agitated too and inside both those dull and agitated states People cannot receive the wisdom of their spirit and of their soul. Your spirit and your soul are different. I made a video about that, but I'm going to explain that also inside this video too, right? But a lot of people, you see, when it comes to your soul and your spirit, right? A lot of people think that like, people say trust your gut when it comes to intuition, right? You have like different kinds of instinctual feelings. Though. You have the gut feeling, which is more like the body's instinct and stuff like that. Then you have like the more like heart based, like emotional one, which also could deal with like, which also, which also can get certain thoughts involved sometimes. Then you have like the higher true spiritual intuition, right? So these could be seen as different levels of instinct, which exist on various different levels of being. So with these three kinds of intuitions, they mainly function between the three octaves, which make up the, um, this omniverse. So there's 12 planes and those 12 planes exist within inside three octaves which also includes five harmonic universes and there's six perfect fourths and i'm i'll be breaking that shit down on my page john you know what i'm saying i don't have the i don't have the octave shit yet but that's coming real soon but that that's a little bit advanced for some people we don't got to get there right my whole entire point is the fact that these intuitions function in different ways right and People shouldn't always just say, trust your gut, because sometimes that intuition is very, like, emotional, right? Like, your true intuition is not actually that emotional, you know? It's actually pretty subtle, you know? Like, the way that the spirit and soul communicate are actually in very subtle ways. It's still inspiring, but it's very subtle. And I'm saying that because when it comes to subtle things, right? Like, for example, wind. You can't always see wind. But you could see fire. You know what I'm saying? The wind is moving the fire. It's like the wind is inspiring the fire to move. But people only see the movement of the fire. They don't see the wind. So I'm trying to say that because if you're in touch with the wind and you're trying to show people the wind, if they can't perceive the wind, they're not going to know what the fuck you're talking about. They just see the fire moving and stuff like that, not knowing why it's really moving like that. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people cannot perceive the thing that inspires you and cannot perceive the thing that could inspire them. And therefore, they may say certain things to you, which kind of put you down and they make you disconnect from your spirit. And, therefore, and then therefore, you'll stop being inspired. You're going to stop having these impulses to just do certain creative things or just because like when it comes to inspiration, 
inspiration, right? People may hear that and think only about like doing like art, you know what I'm saying? I want to do art. I want to do some magical shit. But you could be inspired to simply just like work out or get your life together, right? And sometimes your spirit will tell you when to do that type of stuff, you know? But you can't get in touch with your spirit if you're disconnected from it. So now we must talk about broken spirits, right? Because, oh, let me actually say this one last thing. Actually, you know what? Because I'm, I'm going to talk about why you shouldn't worry about lames also in general. Because realistically, it's like, who cares about a lame who's not inspired? You know, like, who who actually cares? You know what I'm saying? Like, the more I express myself raw and authentically, the more people fuck with me. Like, I see who doesn't fuck with me, but mad niggas fuck with me. Like, I, I, I'll, I'll literally be out at, like, one of my boys' shows, right? And just start talking about, literally, like, at, like, a show, like, like a few shows ago and stuff like that. Um, I was just like outside with everybody just talking my shit. Niggas was just listening, gathering around, listening to stuff like that, trying to understand shit. I'm like, yeah, like someone needs to say this shit. And you could tell that some people already thought like how I thought, but they didn't they didn't always talk about it. So they kind of think like, whoa, this nigga actually saying this shit? Like, yeah, I'm saying this shit. Who cares what other niggas think? You know what I'm saying? Like, we are we're meant to be inspired as humans. We're meant to have our spirit breathe into us, right? Like literally when you breathe. You shouldn't, you shouldn't only just be breathing air. You should be able to actually feel the energy inside the air, the chi, the prana, which sustains your being and stuff like that, right? Your higher months, your, your higher mental functions and astral capabilities and psychic capabilities. That shit, nigga, if you breathe in the prana, you'll have that shit get boosted also. You have to actually be aware of that shit too. Now let's talk about a broken spirit, right? So you can't actually really have your literal spirit get broken but you can have your connection to your spirit get broken so first things first what is your spirit your spirit is the infinite and eternal immortal energy which comes from you could say source i said you could say source because first it goes from source then an omni soul then an over soul then your spirit you know what i'm saying so you could say your spirit directly comes from your over soul but at some point it comes directly from source right and with all that being said it's an infinite eternal immortal energy which literally has the ability to tap into the all that is you know source whatever right however you also have a soul your soul is the awareness that became aware of itself right it's the it's the part let me rephrase that your soul is the aspect of that energy which became aware of itself and is now conscious and is observing and experiencing life, right? Like, when it comes to your eternal, immortal spirit, right? That shit could be split upon several different versions of you. Even, like, some people, when it comes to, like, your family, right? Some of your family literally just this, literally has the same exact eternal spirit as you. It's like you, it's like you literally are your family type shit. It's not like that for everybody. But I know with me, it's like I literally am my family, you know? It's like I, it, it's, it's crazy how it, how it works and stuff like that, you know? So long story short, different parts of the energy can become conscious and aware of themselves, right? So I'm probably the, like, not to, I'm not trying to sound that kind of way, but I'm like the most conscious of my family type shit, right? And it's like the more, the per, it's like, you could, you know, what? I'm getting too deep into certain, uh, metaphysical things but um i just want to focus i know this is, this is kind of metaphysical already but i don't want to get too deep inside this video i want to keep it kind of grounded so long story short the soul is just a part of that energy since that energy is infinite right you know what i'm saying there's a part like since it since it's like an infinite eternal energy a certain part of that infinite energy becomes aware of itself right and that forms a soul this individualized focal point of awareness aka the observer right now as the observer you can actually observe your own spirit and observe your own energy and then have the flow of information come in through you. Like this is how you would access your past lives and other versions of yourself because your past lives and other versions of yourself are all sustained by the same spirit. So if you become aware of your own spirit, you start to download your own information about your past lives, parallel lives and all that. However, you could also get lost with observing thoughts and emotions, you know. And that's where you get got. See, a lot of people are attached to their character, right? This is where ego comes from. So, like, the, origi the, the original word ego just meant I. It meant your sense of self. But in its most negative sense or in its most undesirable sense, it's when you're attached to your sense of self, which generates your character, right? So... Yes, you have a sense of self like, oh, I am an individual and I am this character, I am genie. But if I got attached to that, I will be blinded because truly I am an infinite being, right? Like even beyond my spirit, I'm literally 
everything and everyone, right? And and the and everything that transcends that. You know, we are all just source type shit. So if you get attached to your individuality, you actually start to blind yourself from higher truths of life. You see? And this is where ego starts to become like a thing where it's like, holy fuck, like we got to quote unquote have an ego death. So ego death, right, in its most true sense means to like the thing that dies is your attachment to your character. You see what I'm saying? Like you can still have a character. You could you, you could morph it in various different ways, right? But when you're attached to your character, it's like it can no longer morph. It's like like in a video game, right? You should always like some games you have to make a character and you're just stuck with that character, right? But with other games, you could like make a character and then change it up and stuff like that, or just make several different new characters inside that one video game, right? You could you could make a character however you want it to be, right? But if you get attached to one character, you don't realize that you have that power anymore. And therefore it's said that you have a broken spirit because now your connection is severed. Therefore, you're literally only acting from the awareness of your character, which means that you also are bound by its limitations. You're bound by its knowledge. You bound by you're bound by its thoughts and all that. So, if your character is a character that's not very confident, or it is not very knowledgeable, or is not very like cognizant of certain stuff, then it's like if you're only aware of that character you're going to succumb to that character. Most people don't even see themselves as a character. They literally just are like, people don't really tap into their individualized focal point of awareness, AKA their soul. That is what meditation is literally for. And then as you do that, you realize, oh, I could stop observing these thoughts. I could observe the higher information and energy coming through me through my crown, you know? So with all that, like when it comes to our chakras, right? There could be like, there is over, there's actually over trillions of chakras, you know what I'm saying? But there's like 12 main ones, right? And when it comes to the 12 main ones, you're linked to the 12 planes. On the seventh plane, that's where your eternal spirit exists. That's where, that's what comes in through your crown chakra, you know what I'm saying? So, through your crown, you should have all this influx of information and energy which is coming from your eternal spirit, right? But a lot of people have that shit cut off. So they're not receiving that anymore, and therefore they're not acting from that awareness. And the thing is, your eternal spirit literally do like it has so much information, bro. You would you would be able to feel that like you could do anything had you not been cut off. But that is what happens when you let lames influence you. When the uninspired influence you, you stop being inspired. You stop being breathed into by your spirit. You see. And the thing is, you shouldn't really care about those people because, once again, like they're cut off, like. Like, literally inside your head, right, when you worry, like, because let's say you're not even dealing with people physically that much, right, even if you are, inside your head, when you have all these thoughts about, oh my god, da, da, I said, maybe I'm weird, da, 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 maybe I shouldn't have said it, da, da, da. it's like these thoughts are kind of whooping your ass, because you're literally attached to these thoughts, these are just thoughts that are coming through, though, right, you could become the observer and say, you know what, I could just choose to do something different, you know, you see what I'm saying, so I need people to really understand that, It's more powerful to actually, my fault, bro. You know, when the burps happen, that's because some energy trying to come through and stuff like that. But I need people to really realize that it is way better to be authentic to who you truly are and let inspiration flow through you rather than letting opinions of people who can't even access their true self affect you. Because really think about it. If they're affecting you, right, and... You got to understand when people affect you, it's kind of like you're becoming a bit more like them or you're becoming, you're at least adapting somewhat of their mindset, right? Because their mindset, whatever, whatever mindset they have, right, is not a mindset that allows for the inspiration which you carry. So if you get around this person and you're like, damn, maybe I should dull myself down, right? You're now adapting their mindset and cutting yourself off from your own power. Why would you do that to yourself? I actually understand why, and I feel for you, you know, because I used to be the same exact way. Letting people's thoughts and shit influence me, even inside the astral. I've been fighting some crazy ass beings, bro. The one on Patreon already, the ones on Patreon already know this shit. But like fighting titans and overlords, bro, these are like 8D through 9D beings that are able to like control realities and destroy realities and do all this crazy shit, right? And it's like, Fuck shit, like, like, you know, fighting demons now, you know, cutting somebody's head off, you know what I'm saying, doing a quick little kind of shite and blasting, blasting, blasting somebody into oblivion, you know what I'm saying, doing all these things, it's like, that's, that's typical, that's normal now, banishing niggas, whatever the fuck, right, dismembering niggas by, by the snap of a finger type shit on some Octorian, uh, break a grid structure type shit, you know what I'm saying, that shit's getting normal now, 
but it's like when you start fighting whole realities it becomes real like mental games bro like like fuck fuck seeing a demon you're gonna literally see your best friend cross you in the most craziest way that you never thought was possible type shit you know what i'm saying it'll be shit like that and it's it'll be like i can't even like Trying to tap, trying to, like, if I start explaining that shit, that'd be a whole nother video. My whole entire point is, though, I've experienced mad shit, which tried to break my spirit. And sometimes that shit has worked. But it's like, through all the training, I've now developed a really strong connection to my spirit. And now it's like, certain shit is just regular, schmegula, degula. Like, I, <laughs> like, like, I'm going to show who I am, regardless of what anybody says, and regardless of who likes it. Because the thing is, right, people, not, people are made to be inspired. That's why you have a crown chakra, right? So it's like if you're expressing yourself authentically, you're going to encounter the right people who actually need that. But the thing is, if you dull yourself down, that means you can that mean if you dull yourself down, you can no longer be inspiring to the people who actually need you because you're too dull to even breathe into them. You see, you're not even breathing into yourself fully because you're cutting yourself off because of somebody else's opinion. You see, like niggas really be lame niggas are literally lames like not on no like mean shit my ear just rang too not on no mean shit but niggas be uninspired and dull they're just basic regular niggas which is cool like if you want to be a lame and dull that's cool like the word lame sounds bad but i'm not trying to use it that way i'm not trying to make fun of you it's like if you're dull and uninspiring and uninspired you're literally lame and it's cool you could live a lame lifestyle just don't you know what i'm saying i'm just i'm just not gonna get myself influenced by you and don't try to influence me either if you try to i'm just gonna be like the thing is right the thing is right when people try to bring you down because 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 there's there's a difference between you talk to somebody and they just don't resonate and they're like oh okay you know what i'm saying like those people just can't perceive what's coming through to them right you know but people who attack you it's like they actually are kind of inspired but they're perceiving it the wrong way and here's what i mean right people who really feel the urge out of nowhere to attack what you say that means that what you're saying is bringing up something inside of them which they now want to express to you which should actually show you that there actually is some power in what you're saying they just don't like what you're saying because what you're saying could be contradictory to what's inspiring them because you, you don't got to be inspired all the time by your own spirit that's what it should be but you could be inspired you could be breathed into by various other different spiritual forces right spirit of envy spirit of lust spirit of greed you see What's a spirit? A spirit is an intelligent energy, right? Like, like you have like your eternal spirit, then you just have regular basic spirits, right? You have basic intelligent energies, right? Like anger is an, is an intelligent energy. That's, that's why when you feel anger, you think a certain kind of way and act a certain kind of way. It's an energy that's intelligent, you know? Like anger makes you have your own kind of personality opposed to when you're sad, right? The the way that sad the way that you the way that you express yourself when you're sad versus mad are different, you see? Because those are two separate intelligences, right? So with that being said, some people are only inspired by those kinds of basic spirits. Greed, lust, fear, hate, sorrow, despair. If someone's filled with all of that and you're trying to fill them with something else that kind of contradicts that. If they're a, literally, because this is, once again, this is where that ego comes into play. If they're attached to all those intelligences, which make up their personality, they may want to attack you now. You see? Like, some people just have the spirits flowing through them. They have anger flow through them, sadness, but they're not really attached to that, right? Some want to get rid of it. They just can't, they just don't know how. But when you talk to them and fill them up, it kind of kicks out that other shit, then they're good. Those are for the people who want to be inspired, right? Those are for the people who are, who are not attached to what's flowing through them, right? Other people just think that, no, I am this kind of way. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you're not any kind of way. You're literally not. You could become any kind of way you want to be. It's just that when you have attached yourself to certain intelligences and certain ways of being for so, 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 so long, you think this is just me. And it kind of is just you as a character, but it's not you as a soul or eternal spirit, you see? So with all that being said, right, if someone is attached to these different spiritual and energetic intelligences, right, which make up their personality, if they're attached to it and you're literally like saying the opposite, it's kind of, they literally, they literally feel like they're being attacked, you know? And it's like inside their mind, right? 
it feels like you're being attacked because you're saying something opposite to what they believe and what they identify with, right? And if they're being attacked, they're going to want to defend themselves, right? So they're going to attack you back. But that should show you that you actually did inspire something. They just may be, they just may be a person who is attached to certain intelligences which don't align with yours, you know? Because, like, I've met all kinds of people. Some will, atta- some will try to attack me verbally, you know what I'm saying? Others are just like, oh, word, okay, cool. And it's like... I don't care what I like. It's like, oh shit, nigga, I try. Well, the niggas over here fuck with. I'm gonna just go over here then. You know, it's like it's really that simple. You know, because like I said, people are made to be inspired. So it's time to start inspiring them by breathing into them, by just sharing your authentic nature, whether it be through art, through speaking your truth, and that's one of the best things about truth actually, because when it comes to truth, right, other people's opinions don't matter when it comes to the truth. Because the truth is the truth. So let's say like you really know the truth about certain shit, right? It shouldn't matter what niggas think then. Like, I don't care if you think that 2 plus 2 equals fucking 6. Nigga, it's 4. It's 4. <laughs> like, you could whatever. I don't give a fuck how crazy you are. You could think it's whatever you want to think it is. But, nigga, it's still 4. That's one of the best things about truth, you know? A lot of, like, thoughts and beliefs and all that shit really don't matter when it comes to the truth. So if you're literally living authentic to your truth, it doesn't matter what, the, what, what someone else thinks, you know? And the thing is, even though a lot of people are taken over by deceit, niggas do seek truth also. Like, yes, our human body does make us naturally do some shit that's not the best for us, but that's mainly because we have people who understand the human body and use it against us, right? So it's like naturally, like for example, with certain cravings, right? You only have those cravings because you ate a certain kind of food that is making your body work a certain kind of way. Like like if people were eating in their most, if people were in their most natural state, right? They would only get like real cravings for when they're hungry. And what they would crave is what their body actually needs, right? Like you would crave like a fucking orange if you need vitamin, D. orange is that vitamin D, right? That's what I think. Like you would like you would crave an orange if you need vitamin D, right? You know what I'm saying? You would crave a fucking salad if you need the fucking salad energy. <laughs> I don't be on my nutrients, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a real. I ain't gonna. I, you know what I'm saying? If you need if you need protein, you gonna eat some beans, right? Or some meat if you a meat eater, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you're just gonna crave the shit that you actually need. But people have understood how your body works and said, oh, if we give it this chemical, it just craves it all the fucking time anyway. Let's give them that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. I want to say that because our body is not like, like, like there's so, like people will say the body's very sinful and all that, which it does have sinful tendencies, right? It definitely does. But it also literally, like your soul being inside your body naturally makes the body want to strive for certain things. This is talked about all the time. Like, for example, in Egypt, right, when, with serpent power yoga. They tell you about how humans have one life force that seeks to transcend everything and another and and another life force which seeks to become more and more dense and physical, right? Which makes sense because when it comes to source, right? Source literally wants to manifest itself physically. That's why we have the universe, right? Because source wants to manifest itself physically. However, once source manifests itself physically, It now wants to get back to itself. So you have these two different urges inside you at all times, which is why sometimes the body does shit, which just makes it more dense. But you also feel inspired to do some other things, too, that would make your body like less dense. You would actually be more in tune with your higher consciousness. Right. So I'm saying that because your body, a part of you actually does want to strive for higher shit, you know, and people do strive for truth. And if you and if you share the truth with them, you know, they will. Some people will attach to it at some point. I want to say a task with people will understand it at some point, you know, the people who are meant to are literally going to, especially with as these years go on, bro, like 2025, I want to, okay, so 2025 and 2026, right, a lot of people are going to be more open to things, like I would say 2025, people are just more open to various different things, and it's like a lot of old beliefs are falling apart. Then it's like 2026, people will begin to understand 
certain basic truths like people like more people will at least understand their own soul and their own spirit and that's like the most important thing because once a person's in tune with their soul everything else falls into play because your soul is not what wants to do evil shit you know what i'm saying it's the intelligences which you identify yourself with that now makes the soul want to become evil right like like character like like the soul is just an observer right but then the soul can generate a character which does evil shit. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, it's still not the soul doing it. It's now the character which the soul did eventually generate via different thoughts and stuff like that and all this other stuff. But my point is, is the fact that when a person gets back in tune with their true awareness, they detach from the character who's doing any evil and doing any bullshit and any fucked up shit. It don't got to be evil shit. It, it, could be, it could be simple, just like harmful things for yourself, which at that point actually would be evil because evil means to cause, it means that you have an intent to cause harm. And some motherfuckers know they causing harm type shit, and they don't really want to cause harm when they do certain shit, but they know what they're doing type shit, and it's like you know what I'm saying. That could be seen as a form of evil in a way. But my whole entire point is the fact that we need to really let ourselves just be who we are and express what comes through to us at all times, and then we need to let the uninspired and we need to let the lame people be lame. And we need to let the inspired people get inspired. And then we'll just build more energy that way. We'll build more overall inspiration that way. And we'll share that with the people more. And then more and, then more and more people are going to realize. And, um, yeah. And as people get into what their soul, it's like a lot of things get fixed, you know? Whether it be your bad habits. Because now, once again, when you think you're the character, you also start thinking, like, damn, like, I am the person that wants to do this habit. Really, it's just, like, these impulses and thoughts going off. That if you become the observer too, you could be like, you know what? Let's not do that. You know what I'm saying? It's really it could it like it's not like I'm not gonna say it's easy off the rip, but it becomes pretty simple as you practice meditation way more. And I have videos about meditation. Just look at meditation on my channel, type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm pretty clearly, I'm, I'm, I'm saying I'm pretty sure. I know for a fact you could search people's channel for certain videos. Just type in meditation, bro. You should find that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, bro. I think that's pretty much it for this video, though. But truth is amazing because, once again, when it comes to truth, it's like, whatever someone else thinks doesn't really matter, you know? And the thing is, your soul, when it's in tune with its spirit, is naturally channeling source and is channeling true information, right? And the thing is, your truth could be different from somebody else's truth, right? Like, for like you may say that life is easy. Someone else says life is hard, right? For you, life may be easy. For someone else, it may be hard. Granted, life is really just life. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, the more you strive for truth, which your soul and spirit naturally do, the more in tune you'll get with it. And the more you're just going to literally see why, like, niggas' opinions don't matter, you know? Like, sometimes when you're inspired, you could be inspired by your own emotion and, you're like, your own creative thought. But, like, when it comes from your spirit, it's different, and it's more authentic, and it's going to lead to truth and stuff like that, you see? So, yeah. I made a video also about the soul versus the spirit, you know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's actually inside of my Ascension Archive. No, that's a Patreon thing, my fault. That's inside my reawakening to your spiritual nature playlist it's about your spirit versus your soul. I talked a lot about that, so I recommend watching that video, too. And, um, yeah, niggas be lame and don't fuck with the lames. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love you all. I'm going to catch my next video. Peace.